after listening to the Serial podcast kind of obsessively last year, I got really curious about what other good podcasts were out there that I hadn't heard of. And now I listen to them everywhere. On my subway commute, while I'm getting ready in the morning, the gym, while I'm walking around New York. One genre of podcasting that I've really fallen into is podcasts about books. There are tons out there, but I found it actually really hard to discover podcasts about books. I'm always generally trying to search. I'm always asking for recommendations about bookish podcasts. There doesn't seem to be one definitive list of them anywhere. I'm going to talk about a few of my favorite ones. I'm also going to link to all of the bookish podcasts that I know about in the description of this video, so you can check that out too. One of my favorite Favorite podcasts is also the most quintessentially bookish, and that's Bookworm by KCRW. Within the content, the thing that stands out most to me in podcasts is the host, their personality, and specifically in this case, their voice. Michael Silverblatt has the best voice that you've ever heard. Coconuts, nudity, sunlight will be the new paradise. I want to be friends with this guy so badly. <laughs> is for a more serious reader, it's definitely more intellectual than a lot of the other podcasts I've seen. Michael has a different famous author on the show every week and they talk about their most recent work. It's basically the conversation that I would want to have with my favorite authors, but the caliber of people on the show is such that I would probably just get really starstruck and like drool on them or <laughs> something. So anyways, my embarrassingness aside, Michael Silverblatt asked just really smart, beautiful questions about work and where the writer is coming from. Definitely check out Bookworm. Another podcast that's become kind of a staple of my life is All the Books by Book Riot. Um, this one comes out weekly. It's the best way to keep up with what books are being released and publishing news. Also Liberty and Rebecca from Book Riot are adorable. So it's very entertaining as well. One of the podcasts I've subscribed to is Books on the Nightstand. Anne and Michael, the hosts, are friends and they also work in the publishing industry. Books on the Nightstand is important to me because it kind of like rounds out my collection of podcasts. Everything about this podcast is so creative and so thoughtful. Books on the Nightstand is a lot of reviews and recommendations, but they also have fun things like summer book bingo. Even the segments that they do about their sponsors are really intriguing and fun to listen to. Like half the books on my reading list right now are because of things their sponsors have recommended, but they just like take so much care. There's a tendency for a lot of the hosts in podcasts who want to show how smart they are and how well read they are. And Michael and Anne are very, very smart and very well read, but they're not elitist or snobby at all. They take the time to explain what Jurassic Park is. They don't assume anything about the reader and it seems like they just really have this deep love for books. I also find myself listening really often to the Slate Audiobook Club. Slate is kind of like the master podcast publisher right now. They had some time to perfect the art of podcasting about books um, and the result is really fantastic. They wrote a blog blog post when they first launched the podcast in 2006, and I really liked this part of it. After finishing a good book, most of us feel a need to talk about it, to compare notes, relive high points, skewer the weak spots, and generally get it out of our systems. Of course, we also want to drink wine and gossip. Well, Slate doesn't have a liquor license, but we do work with a lot of people who'd be great to have in any book club. Everybody I've heard on Slate Audiobook Club is great to be in a book club with, but would also be kind of nice to have a drink with. <laughs> no, but all of their editors are so intelligent and are just plugged into culture in a way that is really unique for their podcast. I like Slate Audiobook Club because it reminds me of being in college lit courses. All of these podcasts are available in the podcast app on your iPhone and I'll link below to them as well. Again, check out the complete list of bookish podcasts in the description and if I've missed any, especially your favorite ones, let me know in the comments.